All right, we've got something different on the bench today. <clears throat> I'm waiting for some parts on a different project, so I've got some time to film some other things. Um, I was watching Curious Mark on YouTube, and he is in the process of um, putting together a B-52 bomber star sight system, um, star guiding, the astro guidance system for B-52 bombers. And um, I thought I would share my version of it. Uh, this is from World War II. Um, this is what's called an Astro Compass Mark II. And it is a gimbaled, gimbaled device for uh, doing exactly the same thing uh, in a older bomber <laughs> from, from World War II vintage days. And these were built by the, the uh, Canadians, is built by the uh, British, everybody had a version of this, if not the exact same ver version. This was, was was built in the United States by the Spurdy in, in, Incorporated in um, uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, USA. Uh, this is the uh, Astro Compass Mark II Manufacturer's Assembly Part Number D500. Um, so what is this thing? Uh, it is a... A device that can rotate in different directions. It can rotate in this direction. Uh, it can rotate uh, in, uh, in 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 this direction. It can rotate in in this in this direction, and it can rotate in this direction. So it's got a bunch of ways for it to rotate. Okay, so. Um, in addition to that, it has uh, two bubble levels for uh, uh, so you can put this thing exactly on uh, on on level. So here we're a little bit out. So if I turn turn the knob over here, you watch the bubble. The bubble gets centered, and so you can you can level the thing. Um, it's marked in compass headings. So the way that this works is there's a base, okay. And the base uh, is part of the air, oops, is part of the airplane. So this this would be on the dashboard of the airplane, basically. Um, and uh, I'm, I've just 3D printed one, so we can play with it here on the bench. And then uh, this thing has a locking screw. So you would you would put it on the dash, and then you would lock it in place, and then you could use it. When you weren't using it, it went inside the case. A nice, nice wooden case for for it to go inside. All right, and there's a tag over here. It's a little bit hard to read. I'll put a photograph here. Astro Compass Mark II, same thing. D500, blah blah blah. It's basically all the same stuff. It does give the contract number. Very very hard to read. It's kind of kind of gone. But it gives the contract number for the military of of uh, what contract this was built under. All right, so in order to use one of these, um, well, first of all, what does it do? It tells you what direction you're heading, okay? By looking at the sun or the moon or a star, um, uh, it tells you which direction, which direction you're moving. You need to know a couple things. You need to know, you need to know your latitude um, and you need to know the time of day, okay? And you need to know what object you're looking at. <laughs> um, so um, the way that you set it, with all of these knobs is you have to look in a book, okay? And uh, let's see here, I've got a couple couple printouts here. Um, the numbers you get is from the Air Almanac, and so we'll look at that a little bit. Those are the, those are the numbers, but there's also about some of the books here. Uh, here, this this is by the uh, Canadian Royal Air Force. Oh, lower my camera down. This is the Astro Compass Spirity. This is the one that I have. It talks about, uh, the device and how you, how it works and how you, uh, here's the base, uh, how you install it on the airplane. Uh, anyway, it goes through all of the, uh, all of the um, ways to do it. Here's another one. This is instruction for the use of the Astro Compass Mark II. This is from the WW Bose Company, in Dayton, Ohio. Um, and this one has some photographs, and uh, here's a nice, uh, shows it on camera, but a nice diagram of all the things. Um, 
and how it works. Okay, so let's uh, let's say we want to know which direction we're heading, and we know what time it is, and we know our latitude. Okay, so um, let's get out the almanac. Uh, currently, it is uh, December eleventh during the filming of this, and the uh, Greenwich Mean Time, Universal Time, it's called UT here, Universal Time is around 22.30, okay? And um, if I go to 22, so this book has every single location for the sun, Aries, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and the Moon, the location of those things every 10 minutes of the, of the day, all year long, <laughs> okay? Uh, so, the closest thing here, we're about at uh, 2200, 30 minutes, and it says here that the GHA, the global hour angle, is at 159, okay? And, uh, five minutes, 5.2 minutes. And the declination is south 23.05, 23 minutes, I mean, 23 degrees, five minutes at 0.4 seconds. Anyway, so there you go. Um, and so you need to dial those things in, all right? So uh, we know our latitude. So that's an easy one, okay? So here's the but here's the knob for the latitude. Our latitude is here about 37. So here is 40. Uh, here's 30. So 37 is right there, okay? So that's our latitude. So the way this works is it's kind of like setting up an astro, uh, astro telescope, and you point it at the Polaris, and the thing then rotates around this axis. So this is the celestial equator. So the moon and everything, everything rotates in the celestial equator. All right. And then this is the compass heading. So we'll just set it to north right now. And um, then we need to know our uh, local hour angle. And uh, we know our um, global hour angle, and we need to then calculate what it is here. So the global hour angle is set at zero at Greenwich, okay? And then you need to know how many degrees off from Greenwich are you, okay? And right here, we're about west 122 degrees. Okay, because that's sort of a, a weird longitude, okay? We're at west 122 degrees. Um, so we take our uh, longitude, 122, and we take our global hour angle, which is 159. We take 159 and we subtract 122. 122 would be 37, okay? So our local hour angle would be 37. And so we set it on this dial. So we would set it to here's 30, and here's 35, here's 37, it's right there. Okay, so 37. So we have our local hour angle, our latitude, and then we need to know the declination of, we're gonna be looking at the sun. The sun's declination was south 23. And so here on this scale, here's north, here's south, and then we would just rotate this little guy here until we were right at about 23, right about there, okay? Now, uh, now we need to look through this thing. So this is kind of a, a, like a, a gun sight. You look through here and here, and these little marks here, and that points you to whatever it is. And so you look in this little magnifying glass and you put a star here and you can look through the star if you're looking at the sun, you don't want to be staring at the sun, especially through a magnifying glass. So you use it uh, as a, um, you, you, you shine a light on it and you'll get a, uh, you'll get a reflection, uh, I mean, a, a shadow over here. So I'll, I'll show you me outside with the thing and you can see there's a shadow cast on the, uh, 
little plate in the back and you would just move the device until the shadow lines up on those two two lines and then you know everything is everything is where it's supposed to be all right so let's come back to this all right so now let's say that we're in our airplane okay and our airplane is flying in this particular direction okay and uh we take the uh uh unit after we've set all those other settings, we rotate it until the shadow goes right onto the right place. And let's say it was right here and we say, okay, good. And then we can read off right here. We're traveling at a heading of 290, okay? So that's our, that's, that is our heading. And that's the thing, that's the way the thing works. All right? So if you imagine that it's uh, noon, and you have this thing set up to exactly north, okay? And so noon is always a local hour angle of zero, okay? So we will put our local hour angle at, z at zero, okay, there's zero, and we have our latitude already set correctly. And if we got a shadow now, okay, and let's say our shadow was exactly on there now, we are going true north. Because everything is at zero, right? Zero, 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 everything's at zero, except for the declination because of the angle of the of the sun in the sky. Um, in mid sun, in mid midsummer it's gonna be around zero. It's be higher up in the sky. It's winter right now. But you can see that kind of everything when it's zero kind of all points, points straight ahead. And then as the um, sun moves, it moves in this way. This thing will point at the sun until it finally sets, okay? Um, so it is a really, really cool device. Um, I was playing with it yesterday again, just because of Curious Mark got me going on it again. And uh, I, I set the setting for where the moon is, and I looked up, up outside and I said, yep, that's where the moon is. And then uh, Jupiter is right on the horizon, it was, it was last night, and I could set the numbers for, for Jupiter and said, yep, that's exactly where Jupiter is. Now I've got a, um, <laughs> I've got a cheat sheet. Uh, let's see here, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, you, you might have one of these things. This one's called uh, Sky View. And uh, if you just point this thing around the sky, you can say, oh, look at that. Uh, there's a, the Hubble Space Telescope is in that direction right there, okay? And you can point it around, you can figure, oh, wait a minute, what's that over, what's that over there? And you can say, oh yeah, that's the moon. What's the, what's the moon doing over there? Or is that, what is that? Should be the moon. Yeah, the moon, the moon is over there, right? So we could set these things up and you can, I was using it last night saying, yeah, is, is, it, is, it, pointed, is it pointed towards that thing? Because <laughs> that's, where, that's where the moon is, that away, that away and it, 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 of course it worked. Um, so this, this unit has kind of these uh, celestial, uh, uh, celestial numbers all built into it. So anyway, that's a lot of talking about this thing. Um, just as an object to covet, <laughs> it's really nice. Here's a little cheat sheet. First you level it, you set the latitude, you set the local hour angle, you align it on the object you're looking at, and then you read the true heading. That's, that's you just align it up and it says, ah, uh, you're gonna, your, your true heading is now, uh, 332. Uh, yeah, it's a, it is a fun object. All right, one word of warning before I go. If you do get one of these things, be aware that these little lines here that kind of point to where the star is supposed to be, if it's nighttime, uh, these little things glowed in the dark. And back in World War II, you used radium paint. And so those have radium on them. So if I get out a Geiger counter here, and uh, yeah. My Geiger counter's going crazy. Uh, maximum, yeah, 14, 
1500 uh, counts per minute not good <laughs> anyway and i think most of it's flaked off too uh, but anyway yeah so watch out for those little guys it's radium paint